Okay, so I'm going to show you how to print your Collagraph print. And this is mine. You can see I removed the background. And that's because we're going to be printing with a water-soluble um, ink or paint. And because it's water-soluble, um, it will affect my glue because glue is also water-soluble. So I had this, like, star um, print all around the outside in the background of my image. And... Um, when that gets all wet, it dissolves and it sticks to the paper. So I just removed that part. If you have a lot of glue on yours, I would suggest maybe just don't print using um, the watercolor or the ink. Um, or an alternative is that you can just cut it off like I did if, if that's an option for you. So um, there is the option of printing it as a rubbing. So try it that way maybe instead if, um, if you have a lot of glue. Um, everything is glued on, but if we're very careful and we don't get it too sopping wet, then it still holds up and stays together. I'm going to start by getting my whole, um, collagraph wet. And that is just so that I can have the paint sitting on the surface and not absorbed into the cardboard. So I have my sponge and I'm just going to use clean water and just wet the whole thing down. Now you don't want it to be too sopping wet because then your glue will start to come apart and your pieces will start to fall off. So don't make it too sopping wet. So if you have puddles on your um, print, um, that's a little bit too wet. So you can just kind of dry those off with a paper towel or a, to a rag or something like that. All right, and uh, I have some ink on here, so I'm just gonna rinse this off really quick. I wanna make sure this is clean because I'm gonna use this for my paper later. So I'm just gonna rinse that really quick, make sure that I don't have any ink on or paint in there because I'm gonna have to use this on my paper to make my paper wet when I pull my print. So I'm just keeping this wet into the side with clean water. And um, the first, way we're going to print is with watercolor paint because um, if you don't have uh, any printing ink left, you're going to have to use watercolor paint to print your collagraph if you want to print it with paint or do a wet printing instead of just the rubbing. Okay, so I'm just going to um, paint on the areas with different colors, whatever color I want. I'm taking a risk here with this yellow because it's very light. And I'm just making sure that I'm getting a lot of pigment from the paint when I do this um, because some of it's going to absorb into the cardboard and you want to make sure you can pick up as much as possible. So I'm really getting a lot of pigment as I do this. Okay, so to make sure that we pull all the paint off this Collagraph plate um, or block, 
we need to make sure that our paper is nice and wet so that it can pick up some of that paint. So I'm just gonna take my sponge and I'm gonna wet down my paper. And this time it's okay if your paper is pretty wet. Now I'm ready to print. Okay, so for rubbing, you wanna make sure that you're focusing on all the little areas And you can see it coming through. You don't want to rub a hole through your paper though, so be careful. If you want to know what it looks like, you can take a peek. Just hang on to it and peel it up. It's looking pretty good. All right, I'm just gonna pull this off. All right, and then there you go. It's a watercolor print from a Colograph plate. So you can see that the yarn really picks up a lot of the paint and some of the other areas don't. So just be aware of that as you're um, adding paint. It, for me, I like that look and I think it looks pretty good. Um, I have printed this several times and it's pretty wet, especially because I just doused it in water. And usually you can print it maybe about five times, but I'm gonna give this a break and let it dry out because if I keep printing, I think it's gonna fall apart. So I'm gonna let this dry and then maybe I can print it again later.